We're heading to a uh, we're heading to a shooting right now, um, and that was our two victims. They were being transported, so I didn't want to didn't want to miss that. We're uh, about five blocks away. Okay, here's additional information on our shooting. Oh, 40 minutes? No, it's different. Yeah, it's a different call. Different call. So. Um, yeah, we have uh, two people that were shot, 113th and Normandy, in that area. So we're gonna head over there and see what uh, see what they've got. We've also got a uh, traffic collision with a pedestrian that is possibly um, no longer with us. That's at Sepulveda and Sentinella. So we're gonna check out this uh, shooting scene first. This is, uh, if you're familiar with LA, it's not uh, not the great, wow. Wow, wow, wow. That's nice. So, not the greatest uh, area, but um, we're going to uh, we're gonna be there in a second, check it out, see what they got, maybe B-roll it a little bit, and then head over to the uh, the other call in Culver City, so. All right. We're rolling up. 455 is gonna be going uh, code six, 113th, and uh, Normandy. All right, so the tape is up there. Let's see if we can go around. If we can't, we'll come back here. There goes the other uh, the other squad, but they canceled them. So, <sighs> I wonder why the speed bumps have the little cut in the middle. You see that? Yeah. I wonder what that's for. And our suspect vehicle is a white Chevy Impala. So, just keep an eye out for that. Yeah. Oh, we can go down here. Cool. Well, uh, we'll get out for a minute. Let's see what's going on. You want it? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.
you can feel spooky season in the air. October is coming. Halloween is on the way. And you can definitely, you can feel it. It's cold. Er, not cold. It's colder. I know someone will go, oh, you live in LA. It doesn't get cold there. Um, but it does a little bit. Um, yeah, not a huge scene. Looks like it happened right here on the street. I do see a marker. I think there's casings right in front of us here. That would be my my guess, and I'm sure there's a few more in the street. We get a couple shots of that, and then we'll head over to Culver City. But not much here. Two guys shot unknown condition. That's all we got. Did you say my dad got shot? What's that? So, so the deputy just went into the house and um, he knocked on the door and a small child came out and said my dad got shot. That's heart wrenching. Jesus. Take a look at the other side of the car. I think they might have been sitting in the uh, in the white SUV up front, but we've got to take a look. bullet casings, even more bullet casings behind the car. Holy cow. There's so many. Oh, the car is shot up. Holy cow. Yeah, they were sitting in the car for sure. There's so many bullet holes in the side of that car. It's actually, I'm amazed they're okay. The side of this car. Do you see the car? Trying to get a shot without, uh, there we go. This damn tape's flapping on me here. Wow. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Very, very, very lucky. There's no no better way to describe that but luck. That is, uh... Obviously something else is happening. Let's uh, wrap this up, get a couple more shots, and then find out what's going on over there. Yeah, go ahead, take uh, TAC-1 or Simplex, they're both clear. You know that scene from uh, Pulp Fiction? Remember? The guy comes out, what was his name? He's talking about his uh, Royale with cheese and all that, and the guy comes out with the 1911, and fires like, was it, I think it was a 1911. Fires like a bunch of shots, misses them completely, like, those guys need to buy a lot of tickets, seriously. That's, uh, 
you see stuff like that from time to time and it kind of makes you wonder right if it's your time it's your time stuff like that just uh just confirms it Question is where do we? Tonight, automatic alarm seven four. Where do we go? It looks like it's under the freeway, possibly right here, and it's really dark. So, I just don't know where we're gonna park. That's my, my biggest concern. Oh, there's a parking lot on the other side. I think we'll go over there. That's probably gonna be our best. Where are we at? Oh, sorry. We're at a um, pedestrian that was struck and. Uh, killed by a vehicle, Sepulveda and Sentinella, and we are in Culver City. It is 9.50, or sorry, time of call 9.57, but we're here way after the fact. It's like 11.30 right now. Because uh, we went to that shooting, and then I didn't really want to go down here. Don't tell. Don't tell anyone. Um, but I'm not a huge fan of these types of calls. I'm also wondering if the sensors are working in the street, because this light is taking forever. Um, but I do think we are on the correct side. There is a building right here um, on the northwest corner. I think we're going to park in there and then see what we can see. Um, but yeah, this, I mean, the sign for Culver City is like right there on the side of the freeway. So we're definitely, definitely in Culver City for sure. And this is not... Oh. Seventeen East East Avenue. Uh, you know it's weird. They're calling it an auto versus pedestrian, but I see a car in the roadway over there that is not moving. That has traffic collision damage. So I'm wondering if it's just a fatal traffic collision. How do we get in here? We can't. Great. All right. So, our next option is to go across the street and then just walk over there. I don't think it's a... They said it was a pedestrian incident, but I'm not, I'm not seeing that. I see just a, just a car in the roadway, so... Kind of a hard spot to... Uh, really get to over here. Uh, I guess we can park here. Yeah, that's fine. Now let's walk across. Yeah, we are close to the ocean. We are very, very close to the ocean. Which is sometimes a nice smell. Most times, most times not. I love the giant Culver City sign, so there's like no mistaking where we are. That's cool.
Oh. Like two ships passing in the night. <laughs> Good to see you. Where did, uh, where did Howard park? My goodness. Well, there's no, uh, there's no tape, so I'm not sure, not quite sure what the deal is on this. Um, hopefully we can chat with them and get a little bit of information. Kind of weird, right? There's like no tape, no... There's like three police cars and no one is there. So, kind of creepy. It's so dark, like it's just creepy, creepy, creepy. I, it's, it's weird, I'm, I'm assuming they hit the um, I'm assuming they hit the pillar uh, holding up the freeway, but it's, uh, I don't know. It's weird because there's glass. He must have been going the other direction, right? He must have been going this way, and then he hit the pillar and then that spun it around, right? That's the only thing that would make sense because this, uh, this scene is very, uh, very dark, very strange, and not a lot of information. Normally we get a lot of info, but right now, not so much. So, if you haven't already uh, seen it, this is the Code 20 uh, patch, Truth Dies in Darkness, which is a quote from season one, which is pretty cool. Um, we did a hundred of these to support what we're doing here at, uh, at Code 20. Um, we've sold out. So, if you have one of the originals, uh, we're not doing this color anymore. We'll probably do another run in like Subdued or something like that. Um, and Keith has a fire, of course. But either way, if uh, if you got one, fantastic. If you didn't, well, you'll have to wait till the next color. So that's it. Um, yeah, that's it for this one. We're out of here. <laughs>